So similarly, imposition of Hindi. If someone says, uh, you know, because the, you've seen Siddharamaya in Karnataka, for our example, stand up and saying that we will have all our slogans, all our hoardings only in Kannada. Do you believe the same thing should be there for Tamil Nadu? Can Hindi be embraced just as you embrace Hindi cinema? No, allow me the choice who I will embrace. You want choice? I want choice. And another thing, this is a language which is older than Hindi. There's a still debate whether it's older than uh, Sanskrit or not. Uh, there are very strong beliefs that it's older than Sanskrit, at least in this part of the country. Definitely it's older than Sanskrit in this part of the country. Sanskrit came in. So this language was there even before then. We are proud of it. And if you say tomorrow that Hindi is a national language, so any uh, uh, central government jobs, you'll have to be a Hindi-speaking man. Overnight, you're making a major part of my population illiterate. We are moving towards literacy, and we are we have promised to accept the diversity of the nation when we created this thing. The, the diversity should be there, and the unity should be there. I w I'm willing to put up, if in, if in my government, if there is a government, a board in Hindi, but like they do in uh, Singapore, it's in Chinese, it's in Tamil, and, and there was an attempt to add Hindi to it, and they refused. So you believe three languages? Whatever makes tourism and travelers' way of life easy, and English is the national language. So you see English as a national language, yes, because you see Tamil as an older language than Hindi, and those who, no, want I'm, to, I'm, those who want to follow Hindi are free to do so, but you cannot impose Hindi on anyone. That is what I said when I was a 14-year-old boy, and I'm still saying that. Are you?